community on his head, stand the community on his feet. How many people agree with that statement? A few. Right. <clears throat> turn the penitentiary on his head, stand the community on his feet. Who gonna help me turn this penitentiary? This is the penitentiary. You see me like this. Struggling. Nobody in the room, is anybody in the room inspired to help me turn the penitentiary on his head? Anybody? Why, yeah, brothers, yeah, this is the penitentiary. Don't ask me to, if I need help, come help me. Right? Like, brother, help. Come up here and help. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm just going to keep on it because I'm so serious about it. Because if I don't, then my community will not be able to be on its feet. So now we struggle. We struggle. We struggle. What y'all going to do? What y'all going to do? This is what it's about, man. It's not going to change unless we do something to change it. Now where is the penitentiary? Yeah. It's on his head. But it takes our involvement. It's not going to be on his head as long as we sit back and wait for everybody to put it on his head because they're going to feel sorry for us. It's not going to be on his head. And if it's not on his head, then our children will go through the penitentiary 10 years from now. And if they go through it 10 years from now, it's going to be way worse. Because if you don't do something to intentionally make the situation better, it will be worse. You got to pay for electricity now in the state jails. $10.60. They're crazy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's the responsibility. The only way that we're going to be able to turn the penitentiary on his head is if we turn the mentality that gets us incarcerated on his head. We got to abandon the mentality. We got to abandon the mentality. Brother, you put the penitentiary back on his head. <laughs> Man, like I'm so serious about this. Yeah. Man, you don't know how much stuff I, I, I take on the chin mm -hmm. to get this done. It's people that talk that I, I done seen old COs and they told me, say, man, hey, he just an inmate. <laughs> and I'll be like, I don't care what you call me. I got to get in here and get done what I need to get done. That means that brothers need to be inspired. Brothers need to see that it is possible because so often brothers don't even know that it's possible because everybody who did time, they end up getting reincarcerated or killed. So it is my responsibility to continue to show my story, show myself, and that's the only way that people will be inspired to a way to where they say, man, you know what? Let me abandon the mentality that got me incarcerated in the first place. I, 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 I don't want even, you, I don't need to know about no laws. I just need to know about the mentality that made it okay for me to do the things that I was doing. Because everybody ain't about to get incarcerated. John, do you think you're about to get incarcerated tomorrow? No, right, 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 right. Judge Rice, do you think that you're going to get incarcerated tomorrow? Right. So you got mentality, you got a mindset, Dana, do you think you're going to get incarcerated tomorrow? Right. So you got a mindset that prevents incarceration. So if you got a mindset that prevents, that prevents incarceration, and I want to prevent incarceration, my best chess move is to say, hey, how do you make decisions? How do you do things? How do you move? What make you go? I don't need to go around people who is on their way to getting incarcerated because they just gonna tell me how to get incarcerated. If you ain't got a seat at the table, then more than likely you on the menu. That means that you food rotisserie style and brothers be mad in the mug when they be rotisserie style like that chicken that be turning inconvenient. But you don't have to be fooled if you make the decisions to turn the penitentiary on his head, stand the community on his feet by developing a victorious mindset and abandoning a defeated mindset that's not gonna get you to the places that you need to be. 
It's not going to get your children in the place of life that they need to be. You will infect them with that same poisonous mentality, and they will be sick. And then they got to pay the price for that sickness. Probably just like you had to pay the price for your parents' sickness that they had, that they infected you with that poisonous mentality. When does it stop? This is the mission. Before change can be seen externally, change must be done internally. I am Carlos Christian. That's my time. I appreciate you all. One of the more inspirational messages I've heard. Uh, you know, when I heard you hit it, hit it like that, I said, yeah. People all the time. It's beautiful, fake this time. About some of the things he did, but it doesn't make any impression. What he says gets through the people. You did a beautiful job. I just kept I hearing. I think it's fine. Take that next I'm John Galerna, Chief of the United States Probation Department for the Southern District of Ohio, and I'm going to talk a bit about Carlos Christian and the Starts Within organization. I met Carlos two years ago at a Columbus Reentry Conference, and I was immediately taken aback by the energy, the passion, uh, the transparency of his message. Uh, it's fresh. Talks about personal responsibility for positive change. So in the last six months, we've had Carlos speak to uh, 350 of uh, men and women on federal supervision. He has shared that message with them, a positive message, one for uh, growth, uh, uh, changing thinking habits. Uh, he's been uh, extremely effective, and uh, I encourage you to uh, listen to his message. Hello, my name is Dana Calhoun, and I work for the United States Probation Office. And I am the, the uh, I work with clients as it relates to uh, employment, entrepreneurship, and soft skills. Um, Carlos Christian came in for our Restored Citizen Summit today, and he was phenomenal. Not only did he was he able to share his past experiences, but he was able to share the processes that he took to get where he is now. He was truly impactful, not just for um, our clients that are in the, the reentry phase of their lives, but he was impactful for me to look at some of the things in my life. And, and he's just a great motivator. Um, so the, I just I commend him. I applaud him. Um, it starts within his organization. It's truly, truly awesome. You know, it's so awesome that his gifts um, were able to be used in, in this place, but it can be used across the board for people that are in entrepreneurship, for people that are just trying to change their life. And so I truly, truly, I'm so happy that I have my book. I'm going to read my book that he wrote, um, but I look forward to his future works and look forward to hearing again soon. Best wishes to you, Carlos. God bless. My name is Stefan White, and uh, I'm giving a testimonial on Carlos' Christian demonstration. I liked it myself. Uh, he helped me out. He gave me a few new tools to use with how I'm going to proceed in some uh, different methods that I'm going to use concerning my own children and my own thought process. And uh, I, would, I would encourage people to uh, take a look at this and uh, try to look within and, and, and make some adjustments for their own world and their own situation. And that's all I have to say today. Thank you. I appreciate this. My name is Marcus Walton. Um, coming through and listening to Mr. Carlos Christian and uh, the message that he instilled in me is inspiring. Not only is it inspiring, I'm also going to connect with him on a documentary and just to help people with the recidivism rate. And, you know, I think seeing is believing, so if we can connect through entertainment, then that'll be, uh, that'll be powerful. And, I mean, like I said, he inspired me to do so. It just placed in my heart, so I mean, I'm going to follow that and try to figure out what we can make of another documentary. And, like I said, I appreciate you for coming through. Man. I mean, it's not only inspiring, it's impactful. So, thank you.